Yeah, very good morning. Uh, good morning and uh, hope I am uh, audible and my voice is clear. Yeah, good to see you all after a small gap. So we'll start our, uh, we need to wait for a uh, few more students to log in. Total strength is 100. So 55 students are on time. So 45 more to log in. Anyway, uh, we'll start. Okay, so now uh, last, I had uh, started with a very small remedy, if you remember, Ethusa is what we spoke in length. And after Ethusa, we started with uh, Apis Malefica. Okay. Today, <coughs> I'll be starting with yet another remedy, which is very simple, but a very important remedy which we use in our day in and day out practice. I'll just show you a small uh, image. And uh, this is what I'm trying to show you here. Now I'll be happy to have uh, quick inputs from your side. I know it's a different platform because of the pandemic, but you can either unmute yourself answer and then go to the mute uh, mode or you can as well uh, give your inputs in the chat box. So what do you see here? What do you understand? What do you understand here? You see an image wherein a person is trying to steal or rob another person's mobile or uh, wallet. Very good. Suman Kumari rightly says, robbery is happening. Beautiful, good, agreed. Yeah, pickpocket, yes. In our local language, we call it as pickpocket. Okay, chalo. Anything else that you can think of? Yes, I'm happy that uh, you have come close or you have got it absolutely right. See, on a broader sense, when you look at this image, what I want you to understand is, there is something wrong that is happening. It is not right. I hope you understand. I hope you agree. Now, what is happening is not right. It is something wrong. Okay. Now, when something wrong happens, there are so many people around. As a small activity, how do you think each of them would react? You can uh, imagine yourself there or you can imagine some other person there. How do you think each of the individual there would react? The more quick the inputs, we get more time to interact, okay? So, what do you feel or how do you feel the other individuals will react there, okay? Very good. Somebody might report to the police. Beautiful, correct. Good. Then, any other situations, they may slap. Good. They may slap. Very good. Yes, cold, just ignore, beautiful, even that is a possibility. You just ignore, you report to police, or if you have that uh, fighting zeal, fighting capacity, you go stop, or you go slap, you go fight. Good, few probable situations that you have given me. So moving ahead, what we also see here is, I'll be talking to you of a remedy. Now, if you just understand this situation, now, what is this wrongdoing? That's what I told you. In your repertory or in your materia medica, this is given as misdeed or wrong happening or wrongdoing. So each of them react in a different way. Now, there is one remedy that I will be discussing today. Now, this particular remedy becomes very wild. Somebody said they might slap or they might do something uh, different. So this is a remedy who can become wild or who can become angry, who can become violent 
when such misdeeds happen now i know it's uh, it's a second year class so i can't uh, expect from you like which is that remedy that might be a very premature question but at least from this image you can tell me which is that remedy i am trying to discuss any wild guess wild clue very good madhusudan has got it absolutely right yes megana yeah many of you good i am happy uh, with your uh, pharmacy knowledge very good now this is something you would have learned in your pharmacy you would have seen this picture colchicum autumnal is the remedy that we'll be going to discuss and hopefully next 40 minutes we'll try to take the introductory part we will look at the pathogenesis we look at the elements from and if time permits we'll also look at the characteristic symptoms of colchicum now i have been telling in many classes teaching materia for different years is an art that is the beauty of this particular subject as you mature the understanding of this particular subject becomes more and more interesting okay so colchicum autumnal is the remedy that we are going to discuss before this was taken up into homeopathy it was used by alopus for gout there is an alkaloid that is present in colchicum it is called as colchicin till date alopus used the alkaloid colchicin for gout and it is also used for intermittent fever okay so alopus were using this then homeopathically it was taken up it was proved and uh, you know next few minutes you will see the result of those provings now why is it called autumnal that's again a very simple thing you need to understand see uh, the flower of uh, colchicum they bloom during this season autumn uh, during the autumn season okay and that's why it's got this name colchicum autumnal and uh, if you also look at this it looks more like that saffron i don't know how many of you can uh, recall the image of saffron so medu saffron naked lady comes from the fact that the flowers emerge from the ground long before the leaves appear okay so these are few common names which as a second year student you should know okay so just uh, try to understand uh, the common names and the part that we use in colchicum is mainly the bulb we don't use the entire flower or the entire plant is not used only the bulb is used which has or which is rich in that poisonous substance which i just named and that is colchicin okay colchicin so going ahead we also have uh, the important component coming up here now this is the uh, sphere of action and pathogenesis we have not spoken much but i hope uh, i am clear with what i am trying to tell you we are starting uh, students who joined late we are starting with a very simple remedy and uh, the remedy that we are going to discuss today is colchicum okay we are looking at the sphere of action now the major area colchicum affects will be the joints okay so now acting on joints yeah there are few more waiting one second let me just yeah unlock so that they can also join okay so there are uh, i was just trying to explain that this remedy has a predominant action on the joints okay it could be the major joints colchicum pre predominantly affects the minor joints like you have the metacarpal or the metatarsal joints that's how it becomes 
a very important remedy for gout okay so first area is the joints and acting on the joints it causes inflammation and it has a special affinity for the minor joints or the small joints this is the first area i hope i'm clear now the second area is is uh, uh, the git very important uh, sphere of action of uh, colchicum very few remedies in a materia medica has a strong action on the gi and colchicum is one among those few remedies which has a very strong action on the gi when you look at the gi i have given you a beautiful diagram and i have also insisted many times to understand the sphere of action you should have a sound knowledge of anatomy physiology and now that you are in second year please to apply little of pathology and little of forensic medicine then this combination will be deadly and uh, this combination will help you understand materia medica much 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 better okay first area was joints i hope i'm clear second area will be the git gastrointestinal tract okay now here for our convenience i'll just have a small bifurcation here if you just see the upper gi meaning like you know you have the stomach and then lower down you have the intestines acting on stomach colchicum or the colchicin what you have the alkaloid it mainly causes nausea and vomiting we'll explore a little more after some time but for time being nausea and vomiting and lower ji meaning the intestines you see this remedy causing a very bad distension of abdomen abdomen gets bloated abdomen gets distended so there is indigestion there is nausea there is vomiting and of course the distension so this is its action on the git now you have a very colorful uh, image taken from uh, google images the beauty of teaching mm3 images will help you help you remember help you understand the remedy better this is more visual and anything that is visual will have a better appeal okay so google images from where i have taken all the images thanks to google images we'll go ahead i was trying to tell you the third area where colchicum acts and the third area is the kidney okay so acting on kidneys what will colchicum do it mainly causes inflammation nephritis okay and again it can it can uh, cause changes in the uric acid metabolism and if you see that area remember tomorrow if you have a patient coming to you with swelling and pain in the great toe this area then the first diagnosis that should come to your mind is is gout so colchicum is one top remedy for gout okay so nephritis and uh, uric acid metabolism gets affected now this is where your physiology knowledge of uric acid metabolism should get reflected i'll not tell you about the physiology of uh, uric acid metabolism but this is something you have to apply here so that materia becomes very very interesting okay so uric acid diathesis very important one more organ that i missed to get a pick here is that of heart the pericardium of the heart gets inflamed pericarditis so these are few things that you get to see in uh, colchicum now before i go to the next level can i quickly have a recap of what we have tried to understand we have finished our first component that is sphere of action and pathogenesis can i have in the chat box what exactly you have understood which are all the areas colchicum act what is the affinity of uh, colchicum very good yes see i mean i yeah i like the speed beautiful good keep it up so joints and you are very specific 
mainly the smaller dense beautiful good the gi the stomach the intestines good i'm happy kidneys yes and of course the last area was heart beautiful good 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 job i'm happy okay chalo we will uh, go ahead yes yeah the answers are still pouring in yeah keep it up good so we we'll look at the second component now this second component like the first component is very very important we are going in a systematic way we are going in the pro forma we started with introduction we looked at the sphere of action now we are looking at the elements of the elements from as you know as a second year student you know elements from means causative factors over a period of time you will understand that a lot of things you will see in colchicum now why all these things happen in colchicum is what we call it as elements from what are the causative factors causative factors for our understanding i have divided it to into emotional and physical okay when we start with emotional can somebody quickly interpret the image that i have tried to show you here what is it that i am trying to tell you here elements from yes somebody is yes suman yeah very good beautiful good somebody says depression sadness the right word yes absolutely right yes depressed sadness very good but the technical word that i want here is grief what is yes amruta probably got it right many of you have come very close good keep it up so the technical word is grief elements from grief now what is grief for a second year student grief is is a prolonged or a deep sadness okay sadness which mainly reasons could be many but which mainly comes from comes from uh, you know when you lose somebody okay so grief grief is uh, deep sadness okay can you think of any other remedies i don't know which other remedies are over for you but to keep uh, the discussion live to keep the class interactive yes prakalya yes beautiful good ignisha yes apis mellifica netremur beautiful good good keep it up okay chalo see uh, so what you need to understand now that you have given me a list of remedies having grief you need to understand colchicum is not the only remedy in our materia medica which has ailments from grief there are other remedies also please do think of colchicum when you have ailments from grief that's one part the second thing what you have to understand here is yeah from the image i feel image is pretty clear ailments from anger she is angry with something so this little girl is angry about something ailments from anger ailments from disappointment i will come to it a little later uh, ailments from disappointment ailments from anger ailments from grief ailments from this is what we started first now what what was this that i tried to tell you ailments from what is this image ailments from yeah waiting for the answer yes very good i say i am a little uh, restless guy please don't take so much time yes very good yeah ailments from misdeeds of others others wrong doing colchicum cannot tolerate how will colchicum react colchicum will become wild colchicum will become angry so ailments from grief ailments from anger ailments from disappointment ailments from uh, misdeeds of others and ailments from rudeness i'll uh, take this a little later one slide is missing here ailments from rudeness they are very very sensitive people colchicum somebody talking to them in a very rude way they get affected okay their emotions get aggravated when somebody talk to them rudely i hope you understand what i meant by being rude there are many sensitive girls or friends of yours whom you know they will not like you when you are rude they say like you know please be little soft don't be so rude okay so they are very delicate constitutions uh colchicum is also a constitution 
which is sensitive to rudeness. They will not like somebody being rude to them. Now this image is a very simple image. You have uh, got answers for the complicated images. So I feel this should be pretty easy. What is this? Ailments from? Yes, yes very good. Ailments from getting wet. Any other remedies that you can think of? As a second, uh, second year student, which are the other simple remedies that should come to your mind? Very good. Madhusudan, Restox. Good. Absolutely right. Yeah, Restox again. Okay. Allium Sipa. Getting feet wet in Allium Sipa. Getting wet. Dull camera. Restox. Good. So, getting wet. And uh, now if you just see this here, what is this? Ailments from overstudy. Fine. Hope uh, at least once in a lifetime you would have done this or you would have come across this situation probably before your exams. Ailments from ailments from overstudy. Ailments from hard study. You are studying too much. You are pushing yourself too much. Studying too much. Okay. And ailments from now what is this? Ailments from can somebody tell can somebody interpret this image? Ailments from what? What is it that I want? I was trying to tell you here is, what is this man doing? This man is, yeah, there is, yes, very good. Chinmay, uh, yeah, late night, good, very good. Many of you have got it right. Now, in your Materia Medica, there are a set of remedies which has, or which have ailments from night watching. Okay. For example, IPL season, cricketing season, movie, Lockdown, fine. You are at home and whole night you are watching something, fine. So night watching. Hmm? Kalchikam is a remedy. And as you grow, when you come to third year, when you come to final year, the list will slowly increase. Like you also have Coculus, a beautiful remedy. I will not talk of comparison for second years, but there is nothing wrong in knowing which are all the other remedies which also has uh, ailments from night watching. Now what happens in uh, Kalchikam? Night watching and in the morning they land up with a bad headache. In the morning they land up with a bad headache. So ailments from night watching, good. And uh, we'll go ahead, we'll talk of, uh, yeah, probably this should have come in the previous slide, sensitive to rudeness. From our body language you understand, this lady is telling, please don't be rude. Whatever you want to tell, tell it in a soft way, tell it in a lower tone, don't raise your tone, don't be rude, I don't like somebody being rude. Now if at all you are rude with them, what will happen in Kalchikam, their emotions will get aggravated. <clears throat> they might become more uh, moody, they might become more weepy, they might become more angry. Any of the emotions might get aggravated when somebody is rude with Kalchikam. Okay, and uh, probably the last, or we have one more, I'll just say. Now, from this, yes, what do you understand? Can I have some quick inputs? What is this uh, that we are trying to understand here? You are all there? Yeah, very good. Okay, see now, fine, sweating. Now, what you have to understand here is, this lady is applying something, okay, so that that area doesn't sweat. <coughs> okay, that area doesn't smell, that's secondary. But what I want you to understand here is suppressed sweat. See, sweat is a natural, uh, uh, you know, a, a discharge or a natural uh, secretion. When, I mean, each of us can sweat in different situation, in different areas. And uh, sweat can be of different order, odorless, it might stain, it may not stain, etc, etc. But ailments from suppressed sweat, okay. So a lady had a sweating in the axilla, sweating in the palms. She takes some treatment, sweating disappears and then she lands up with, land up with some other serious illness. Okay, there you can think of Kalchikam. I'll also make things more easy for you. Now, what will happen in Kalchikam when the sweat gets suppressed? Two things I have uh, written in text there. 
and uh, why i am giving so much of importance to those two symptoms is is because colchicum is the only remedy in our entire materia medica which has retention of urine after suppressed sweat so some treatment something happened sweat is blocked sweat stops and in the bargain there is retention of urine if somebody comes to your clinic tomorrow in this situation you can think of colchicum and when you give colchicum there will be good flow of uh, urine and uh, the suppressed sweat also will come back another very important situation here here you have in colchicum is paralysis now if you look into our medical books you don't have a cause suppressed foot sweat causing paralysis you don't have a situation like that but in clinics you will see there are so many causative factors which are missing in our allied subjects patient come up with those causative factors and uh, you will be happy to see that when you look into your materia medica when you look into your repertory you have answer for all those uh, ailments so paralysis which comes after foot sweat getting suppressed i repeat after foot sweat getting uh, suppressed the only remedy in our materia medica is 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 colchicum okay so we had few causative factors okay now we have two more causative factors now this if you just see here now which is this season which is this season now what do you see here from yeah very good yeah 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 so many of you have uh, got the answer right yes see when the leaves fall okay uh, this season we call it as autumn and i told you many symptoms in colchicum are aggravated during autumn season for example what is it that you see in colchicum which gets aggravated in autumn will be dysentery diarrhea dysentery rectal complaints aggravation autumn and you have an exactly opposite season that i have tried to show you here now what is this this season is from the yeah very good yeah i see i am happy with your speed must be if you go to kbc huh? what is it finger fast whatever i am happy like uh, the moment the image is put you are all ready i appreciate the speed with which you type you the speed with which you answer good keep it up autumn is one season and exactly opposite if you see here you see the uh, flower uh blooming you see the new leaves coming up spring during spring colchicum patients will have rheumatism during spring colchicum patients will have joint affection and during uh, what autumn they will have dysentery okay am i clear now before uh, i take up the second component uh, as usual we will have a quick recap and then uh, you can rejoin okay because uh, it will close in next 5 minutes and 5 minutes will not be sufficient for the next component so once we uh, recall the uh, elements from then you will rejoin and next 15 20 minutes i'll talk to you about the characteristic symptoms of colchicum okay now uh, quick recall what were the causative factors in uh, Uh, yeah i am i am happy you are going from the order good i i like that systematic thing happening here emotional causative factors and then we spoke of the uh, physical causative factors under emotional causative factors we had grief good you got it right uh, being rude yes from disappointment anger and and uh, what was that uh, misdeeds of others these were few emotional causes very good now what will happen when the foot sweat gets suppressed in uh, colchicum what is the result of foot sweat getting suppressed yes very good paralysis and what is the result of night watching in colchicum the question what is the result of yes bad headaches good i am happy i am happy that you are all uh, focused and you are all concentrating 
and what will happen in spring during spring what is the problem colchicum will come up with they come up with yes joint affections beautiful and uh, when do they get uh, dysentery in colchicum in which season they get uh, rectal affections good they get rectal affections during autumn yes beautiful keep it up and uh, getting wet was also a causative factor we saw in colchicum okay now uh, before we take up the next component any clarifications any questions anything that you are not clear with anything that you want me to repeat or any area that you are facing problem yes 88 of you good so any area that you are finding problem anything you want me to repeat all clear all fine very good good so if it is clear we will quickly unlock okay and uh, then again we will log in so that we spend some time 15 20 minutes and uh, we'll take up the characteristic symptoms of uh, colchicum i also have a nice case to share i'll share the case okay so i'll end the meet and uh, we'll quickly rejoin hope i'm clear okay one second yes in meet okay